Okay. Uh, ooh, too many applications open. We're good. Oh, and it's night. Oh, look at the range on the, the headlight. That's funny. Um, okay, we are almost done with this beautiful, beautiful thing. I might just make some scaffolding to get to the top to do the roofs and whatnot, rather than internal, internal nonsense. I wanted to color these. Uh, yeah, there we go. So you can see a little stripe of green underneath there. I'll leave all the internal factory components. Actually, how does this... Oh! Damn it, that looks good either way. Oh no! When are we doing a spooky stream, Koala? That is a great question. Um, I actually downloaded a couple short spooky games um, to kind of get us going. Um, and then I do want to play through the quarry for this month. Um, yeah, there we go. So I think next week is when we'll start doing that. Um... I don't recall what my calendar looks like currently, work-wise. But I think... I don't think I've got anything in the evenings upcoming this week. So I think we should be able to, to knock out a couple streams. Um, yeah, 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 no. I, and I meant to do it last year and, you know... And the year before, and yeah. What really threw me off was Dark Pictures delaying Devil and Me, because I was all set to play that when it came out, and they're like, nope, it's not coming out till, you know, the month after Halloween, haha. -ha. But I still want to get, I still want to play that one eventually. Um, because they announced the fifth installment in Dark Pictures is going to be, like, set on a space station. I'm very excited for that, so I need to play Devil and Me. Um, and I do want to play that on stream, since we did the other ones on stream as well. And if you miss them, I do believe they're on my YouTube channel. Because those were really fun. Um, but yeah, I think I do want to play the quarry, or at least, you know, start the quarry this month. Because that looks good. There's some big names in it, too, which is very exciting. Okay, we're just going to... We're just going to go Mr. Gorbachev on these walls and tear them down. Coloring each of these conveyor belts is really not worth the amount of time it takes for me to try to click on them. But, we're doing it anyway. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but I have this problem that I have a lot of problems but specifically time my brain doesn't really grasp time super well in that often a holiday's over before I realize it even if I have plans to like do stuff in preparation for it or like celebrate in a certain way it's like it's done it's gone no more Excuse me. Um, and it happens every year, and it gets worse every year. And part of that is just the way that 
that we perceive time as as humans, um, and part of it is the way that my brain perceives time as a broken human brain. Um, ooh, la ladder no go high. Um, so I, I, I am trying to make a, an effort this year to do some spooky streams. Because it'd be super fun. And I think it'd be fun, too, if we did, like, a... Um, I'm trying to think of when we could, now that we are almost a week into October. But if we did, like, a like a community game game night and play, like, Phasmophobia or something, too, I think that'd be super fun. I'll have to try to organize that and get that set up. Is this going to take a, uh, a tour or a forer? Same as before. Okay, cool. Even though we're going through, oh yeah, we're really going through it, <clears throat> our, our depot buffer, like, I've noticed that I've very rarely had to go back for, for, for iron or concrete so far. Like, the Dimensional Depot is such a game changer, especially once you upgrade it, I can imagine. I did this the wrong way. I did this the wrong way. I did this the wrong way. God damn it. Said I was going to do it facing the other direction. That's super annoying. But yeah, I'll um, <clears throat> I'll try to set something up on the Discord, and we can try to plan out a uh, a night to play some games because I think that'd be really fun. Oh, we're so close to the mantis! Hey, buddy, how's it going? Do these walls have a facing? They do not. Great. Putting concretes and iron plates on auto feed into the dimensional depot has been amazing. Hey, Josh. Um, yes. Yes, it has been. I agree. <laughs> yeah, it's been an absolute game changer because I've I I don't think I've had to go back for either of those two since I started doing that. Like, it's slow to fill, but especially with the way that I play, it's not a problem. Roof 2. Ah! And the nice thing is, too, like, once it fills up, all you have to do is build a bunch, and then fuck up, and delete it all, and then it's still filling, and you got the stuff in your pocket. It's win-win, baby. Oh, we need to do... Walls. Let's get these in first. Walla, your wife asks if I know who Pesto the Penguin is. Of course I know who Pesto the Penguin is. There's Pesto, there's uh, Mudang, obviously, 
And then who's the panda? Uh, Hua Hua or something? I can't pronounce it, but there's a, um, I saw there's a, you know, creator, I guess you'd call them, on TikTok that is forming the Knights of the Rotund table. Um, and those three are, are so far all knights in the Rotund table. And she's compiling other adorable baby animals to be in there as well. And I'm all for it. Pesto. Pesto's a cutie. Mu Dang is a little hi hippo, yeah. Mu Dang, whose name means in Chinese, elastic pork. And I love that so much. <laughs> she says, I know all the lore. Yeah, no, that's just the ADHD and the autism just soaking in useless information. But I'm, I'm glad it's appreciated somehow. Biscuits the Seal's the new one? Oh, I haven't seen Biscuits yet. There's a poll, apparently, for the Knights of the Rotund table, so you can vote to, to choose the animals. And I saw there was, like, a red panda on there, which, which is a good choice. But Pesto is, like, that super cute, fat, fluffy penguin chick. I'm really happy with how this factory's turning out. These are good colors. I'm so glad I thought of them. All me. Okay, that's this one. And now I can't get down. How did I get up here? Oh, it's almost this one. The cyan and then the bright orange actually look really good together, too. It's all about Mudang. Oh, look at it. Adrienne abusing her mod powers and posting links in chat. Alright, we're gonna... I wanna see... Let me see this... This... This hippo. It's a minute 14. It's a music video. I'm gonna watch it later. I love Mu Dang's, like, adorably aggressive energy. That's my favorite thing about that hippo, I think. I guess, yeah. <laughs> if Ted can do it, then so can you. I suppose that's not a bad guideline to live your life by. Ted's usually a fairly good example. Okay, so now this one, what's what's our dimensions here? One, two, three, four, five, six by four, same as the others, I believe. Yeah, five. So I was thinking that I'd have it go from the back up to the front, but being being that it's it's so deep, I don't know. What if I do instead of a two a two slope, I do a one slope? How how high is that going to be? Oh, that's not bad. Oh, yeah, that's actually that's actually fine. Because if I do a 2, it's going to be twice as high, right? Because math. I don't know if that's... Oh, it's not going to be twice as high, because that's not how math works. I don't know if I want it that high, you know? I love the bug tent. That's so good.
So if I do it as a one meter slope, it ends there. But if I do it as a two meter slope, Oh yeah, no, I think, I think I do that. Monstrosity on the horizon. Hey, you're right, but I I don't like your tone. <laughs> it's okay. That's ugly. I admit it. That's ugly as as sin. But it's got nothing on on the monstrosities that the Let's Game It Out channels put on put on the horizon in this game. Absolutely nothing. If you think my builds are bad. Okay. Yeah, I think I like the, the two slope. So we're just going to continue with that. Or do I? Do I? I don't. I don't. And here's why. Because if, if I do the two slope, even though that lines up perfectly, it means it's the exact same height as right here. And if I do the one slope, I get a little bit more variation to have almost like three unique towers. And I like that better. That's what we're doing. Talked myself out of it. And it uses fewer materials. I really do want to research lights, though, and get colored floodlights on each of these sub-factories we're making. Just to really highlight how ugly they are. Lant. Thank you. Okay, we're almost done. I wish you could highlight a bunch of stuff like you can in disassemble mode and then paint it all at once. I feel like that's kind of a no-brainer feature, in my opinion. Wait, is that the size of one wall? Am I an idiot? Yup. Oh, I even did it on that side. Yup. <laughs> Time to play everyone's favorite game. Is Wes an idiot? Yep. myself in again. We're done. No, we're not. Now we're done. I like it. Yeah, it's got it's got height variation. It's got like a different profile from each side. 
It's not super accessible, but that's fine. It's not like real people are working in there. <clears throat> it has pizzazz or pizzas, if you don't know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> Yeah. I wish I could give it some more, you know, some more something. I'm going to break this up a little bit too. Go do that. If I really wanted to break up the the symmetry between all these, I'd have the windows on different levels. That's okay. Yeah, I think I do this. It may also have pizzas. Unfortunately, in this current version of the game, there are no pizzas. I could play the really terrible knockoff rip-off version of this game where you use candy instead of, you know, like, metal. Like, essentially, Willy Wonka satisfactory. It looks really bad, though. And it's, like, such a blatant rip-off. But I don't think there's pizza in that one either. You know what game does have pizza though? Played it. We haven't played that in forever. That might be a fun one to get back into. We'll see if they're, they're doing like a Christmas uh, event kind of update. If that's the case, I think we'll definitely play it. They're probably doing a Halloween one. Halloween one. Should check. Silica. Damn and blast. Boom. I need dimensional depots on everything. Let's check in on tickets, too, while we're here. Oh, hello. Donk. Yeah, not bad. I wish I had spread these out more. Because then I could put a splitter. Actually, can I? Can I? Can I? I can. So on the left, we're going to say overflow. So that way, when that container fills up, we're going to throw it in the trash. Same with this one. like just big enough this is ugly Ooh, that's not um, don't want to make this that ugly it's going right through that power line <laughs> BS? What's BS? What do I do now? Oh, that I don't want to make it that ugly? Is that what you're saying? Oh god, it's going right... Th We're not going to look at it. It's going right through the power line. Just don't... Just look away. 
Yeah, you don't want to make it that ugly. Yeah, I know. I I have a limit. The problem is that limit fluctuates. <laughs> oh, yikes. We're going to let that buffer, buffer refill. Left overflow. I'm so glad I researched these. Oh my god. Oh, it's so bad. There's no good way to do this without it being terrible. Insert my eye guy, eyes guy from Spongebob. I'm surprised we didn't have that meme reference made when we made that delicious looking candy cane factory. I mean, I had pizza, but I sure have a lot of spaghetti. I know, okay? <laughs> I'm not happy either. Just, just don't. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't look at that. That didn't happen. Oh gosh. This base is temporary. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, whoops. Left that there. Okay. All right. So we got three three little overflow contingencies for my quartz products and then copper cables. So we'll have a constant stream of ticket income now. Along with basically every single piece of concrete that I make out of this one because I never really fully utilize this crappy limestone node. How are we doing on, on wires? Not great. Okay. Oh my god. I really want to just tear this whole base down. Oh, and look, we're full on rotors too. I need to scrap these. I need to turn this thing off. Because we don't need this rotor, rotor nonsense anymore. Rotoran. Why do I do this to myself? We're gonna have to clip to empty this thing. I'm sorry. Just, just fucking deal with it. I'm mostly talking to myself. I want to empty this. Oh, we need steel plates. make any more, so I'm gonna, um, your brain is overloaded right now? Dude, same. Okay, we're gonna start taking apart our, our, our bootstrap, oh my god, I forgot I put a constructor up here! <laughs> So bad. <laughs> Look at the 
just shoved right up its nose. Oh lord, yeah, we can't we can't get rid of this thing fast enough. Turn that back on. I'll just empty it. Empty the queue. Jeezy creasy. Oh, this is full too. Sweet. I need an AI limiter. Flow. And then a merge. <laughs> this is all in an effort to get rid of this mess. You must build the mess to remove the mess. That's just how it works. Okay. Oh, no. I wanted to start blueprinting some stuff, and then I realized a problem. And it's that we don't have any steel. Okay. Oh, actually, that's, a, that's another problem, too. Can't even make these, because I need steel for the power towers. All right, we need to make some steel. The steel bootstrap that we had is no longer in service, but I know where some coal is, so let's head over there and start that. How we got plenty of stuff to make just standard cables or standard power poles, so we'll do it that way. Okay, yeah, so there's for sure coal down here. Should be right in that little grove. <clears throat> yeah, right there. Sweet. And then I think there's iron over here. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Oh, there's iron over here, too. Okay. Pure iron. So maybe... I know I was saying I was going to put a, a coal factor, a coal power plant here, rather. Not a lot. Of, there's a lot of iron up there. And we really need... Oh, yes. Yeah, so we're still getting dipping in coal production. We really need more coal power. Oh, there may be enough to do both. Why not both, Duck If? Hmm. Let's go find that one. Because if there's water near that one, that'll give us another eight generators off that, that pure node, and then I can save the ones down in the basin for a, for a steel, and I can do a steel factory above the lake. I see you. Oh, and there's limestone here too? Oh. What are you? Pure limestone? Oh, this might be what I do. Okay, floating above the lake here. Or like, you know, oil rigged into the lake. Steel. And that includes steel beams, steel pipes, and in case steel beams using the limestone right here. And then I think there's actually a sulfur node nearish by Let 
Maybe not. There used to be a sulfur node. There used to be a sulfur node right up over here. And that got moved. Okay. I was going to say, if we had extra, we could make, like, black powder and stuff with the sulfur. But that's okay. Ooh. Secret tunnel through the mountains. Secret tunnel. I hear you. I hear you. You're not sneaking up on me. I hear you. Holy crap, there's a lot. Oh my god. Oh. I should have pulled out my explosives. Fuck. There were so many. My inventory's full? Oh, because oh, I picked up, like, mushrooms and shit. Oil rig home base? That might be cool. You know what? Oh, you know what would be a good place for that? Wait. I thought I heard... Maybe it's just, like, the body... Wigging out. Um, you know what be a good place for that? Right over here, there's those waterfalls, right? I could do a base, like an oil rig base, in this bay with the waterfalls. As, like, the main base. That would be so cool. I like that idea, Koala. Don't let me forget that. Okay, let's make some room. I don't know what to get rid of. I hate this. I hate I hate when I have to make this choice. I don't know why I have motors and I haven't trashed those yet. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I'm gonna have to Oh, oh, there is another one. I fucking knew it. Where, though? I don't know. Our instruments echo in the deep. Do they not plug the shallow threads? Can you hear me? Crescendo, the effigy found the key. Sing more. I was not created for artistic purposes. I am incapable of singing. You sing. Noted. There's like a whole story that's unfolding when you pick these things up. I really love it. Because I knew they were going to introduce the, you know, the purpose of the... Ooh, a hard drive's over here. Oh. Uh, I knew they were going to introduce, like, the function and purpose of the Summer Sloops and the Mercer Spheres in 1.0, but I wasn't expecting as much as they've done with it. I'm, I'm really excited. I like it a lot. Okay, uh, we were looking for that coal. I hear a spitter, I think. There. Why are you running? Ah! That actually scared me. <laughs> ah. the third one go? Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, 
Oh, this is that cave that we're just in. Oh, there is another spoiler! Uh huh. Oh, is it up there? Oh, I bet it's up there. That's a problem. That's in the red forest. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. We're gonna- we're gonna remember that. Let's- let's just start bootstrapping some steel again. Oh, we gotta blow some of this stuff up. Shoot. We got a spitter. Dun da 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 dun dun da 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 dun dun da 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 dun. I missed that shot. I can't pick it up. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> okay, um, we need to consolidate some things. Yeah, that's actually one good way to do it. Sweet. And then we just turn all our animals into protein. We actually have to go back to to get an explosive to blow because that's that's a normal node. What do we got here? Normal, and we need to bring power down here too. I never actually did that. I started to, then got distracted. Shocking, I know. So there's two there. What's over here? Is that a bigger one? Yeah. I'm gonna shoot you in the butt. I feel like they nerfed the spitters. They don't feel as aggressive as they used to be. Okay, so what do we have? One, two, we have four normal nodes. Uh, 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 I think that's what we have. We have three, but one's locked until we, we unpack it. Yeah, four normal nodes, so that's 240. Pretty good. Okay, so if we say 240, I feel like it's another terrible number. Uh, nope, 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 what am I doing? Not that button, oh my god. 240 by 45, terrible number. Five and change. 225. Okay. So we need at least 225 of the irons. Let's go see if we have that here. That's, oh, there's copper and iron right next to, oh, that's a pure? Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so that's halfway to our, our iron requirements for this, this shindig. Oh, and that's it. And then those ones up there. Impure, impure. Ooh. Ooh. So that's only 180 iron in this vicinity, unless I ship in some of this, which is, yeah, those, that'll do it. Okay, maybe that's what I do. 
Because if the um, the steel factory is in the lake here, then some of my iron's got to come down from the top, some of it comes here, and then the coal comes up the beach. And then we have five, five and a third foundries, essentially. So I can just have six foundries and kind of plan my floor space for that. Where'd those animal parts go? We're still potentially in, in trouble as far as power goes, though, because I am very much ignoring that at the moment. But I need, I need steel. We've put off steel for too long. Okay, so let's head back up. Um, grab a couple novelists, dump off a bunch of crap, and bring power down here. Actually, you know what I should do? You know what I should do? Let's build a couple of these. We're gonna need at least, like, six or eight of these. So just to start, we'll just do four, and can I put one on this this node patch even with the rock? I think the rock just means I can't put an uh, automated miner on it. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. All right, I'll just bring a stack of coal back. Yeah, being this close to the Red Forest is kind of scaring me. The Red Forest is, is terrifying. There's a lot of big spiders there. I'm gonna let those go for a little bit and walk around. drive that's rather exciting <clears throat> oh and a big hog oh and baby hog with the blade runners you can jump over him I love it Get wrecked. Oh, the hard drive's in the lake. I'm like, where the hell is it? Wes, have I played Red Dead 2? Oh my god, yes I have. I, I haven't beaten it, though. I've gotten almost to the entire end of the story. I know the big thing at the end, and, you know, but... I just haven't gotten around to beating it, but oh my god, do I love that game. That is one of my favorite games of all time. And I really love the first one, too. Like, I was a huge Red Dead Redemption 1 fan. Yeah, Adrian, you gotta play that. You gotta get over your, your thing with horses, and you gotta finish that. I recently just finished um, the 2018 Spider-Man game, and um, 
I noticed one thing about that game and Red Dead Redemption 2 that they had in common is that while both have um, fast travel as an option, it's like once you unlock the point, you can fast travel to it essentially. I seldom, if ever, used the fast travel when I played those games because I enjoyed just traversing them so much. Like they made the actual experience of, of traveling throughout the world that enjoyable. It's incredible. Oh man, there's so much good stuff here! Crap. Do we just put down a box? Do I come back for it? I think I'll put down a marker and come back for this stuff. New map marker. And I've tried to do the um, stuff. I've tried to do Red Dead Online a couple times, and I couldn't get into it. It wasn't the same. I just did not enjoy it nearly as much. Where? Oh, there it is. It was somehow less immersive? Yeah. Yeah, I think I agree with that assessment. Let me pick up some of these things. Yeah, there's, there's some good goodies here I want to come back for. Okay, let's go pick up that coal, and then um, we need to make some steel to make some power towers so we can make some steel. There it is. I'm just looking for the big rock. These are already full. It's amazing. This is what I'm talking about. Like I'm I'm sliding along the slope of the ground in my parachute right now. I don't remember that being a feature of the parachute in the past. Actually, I'm not gonna. I was gonna bring that down, but if I want to come back with a power tower, that's not even worth it. You kind of you kind of have to like hop around the power poles. Uh oh, oh, missed it. I missed it by that much. There's one piece of limestone that's just like pirouetting for some reason on that uh, conveyor. Uh, I need to get rid of some of this. Get rid of that. Uh, oh, I want to make... These. As much as you hate live service, you're super sad the Spider-Man one is cancelled. Oh, was there going to be a Spider-Man one? I didn't hear about that. They could just straight up, like, say... Our our live our online Spider Man is just it, here's the Spider Verse. That's how you're all Spider Man. They could have really leaned into that, and that could have been fun to do a an MMO Spider Man or whatever. 
I don't even call them MMOs anymore when it's like that. When it's like GTA Online or Red Dead Online. Like, that's not technically an MMO, I think. But yeah, they just say, it's the Spider-Verse, and that would be kind of cool. Look at this, this is great. Now I had a foundry somewhere, didn't I? I feel like I put down a foundry, a temporary one. What are you doing? What What is your purpose? What in the, oh, black powder, that's right. Oh yeah, okay. We're gonna do another temporary setup that's gonna last forever. We're gonna make steel. And we're gonna make steel beams. Cause we need power towers, baby. Thinking about buying PS5 Pro for GTA 6. If you didn't know what those those numbers and letters meant, sounds like you're having a stroke. Um, <laughs> I I've never gotten into GTA. Never played really any of them. I really like Red Dead, and I'm aware that it's essentially Grand Theft Stagecoach. And, I don't know, I, I understand the appeal of the GTA games, and especially the like the stories I hear are really good, and obviously the gameplay's fun, but I just never got into it. What am I trying to do? I need to be here. I need a couple of these. to put that in there. Okay. Stash a lot of this. So I don't need rubber yet. I am saving the rubber just because rubber is a hard thing to get the production chain started for. Oh, 100? How many of those do I have left? 100? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Give me another hand. Oh, can I not do that while the hard drive's going? That's a thing, and I forgot. Obviously. That's done in a minute. Um, cool. Let's actually take another short break, and... We'll have some steel ingots when we come back. We'll have a hard drive to look at. We'll have other research. <laughs> we'll have steel ingots, a hard drive, and a third thing. <laughs> and, yeah. That was a funny joke in my brain. And I don't care if you think it wasn't. Be right back. Be right back. 